Hello, in this video I'm gonna show you how to print in multicolor on Bamboo Lab A1. You just need to have a file that has multicolors on it and uh, also I recommend having the AMS device which comes in the Bamboo Lab A1 combo because it allows you to automatically switch between filaments with your, uh, without your um, input because if you don't have this device then you will need to switch out the filament yourself and to start that printing you need to click on print files uh, then find the file from your SD card so I'm gonna select um, I believe this one and then I'm gonna select that I'm, I want to use AMS uh, because I have it. Then you can also enable time lapse so the camera will record how it's um, printing it out. The bed leveling is recommended uh, to print, but it, it'll take a bit longer to calibrate. And then also there is the dynamic flow calibration, which is also recommended, so I'm gonna leave that on. Then click on next. And now for the multicolor, you need to assign the filaments for each um, thing. So as we can go back for a moment to see how it looked, uh, we can see that, that there's black at the bottom, gray in the middle and white at the top. So I'm, I'm gonna turn on the tile lapse again and click on next. And now for the white, I'm gonna use maybe the green one. For uh, gray, I'm gonna use the orange one and for blacks I'm gonna use red. Now I'm just gonna click on print and in a moment it'll start print printing. I will record the whole process and then get back to you when it's done. And now the pr printing process was just finished. Um, you can see that it usually leaves uh, these weird strings at the top. But besides that, I think we can we can try to just get this thing off. I personally recommend getting a scraper for it, so um, you can print it out yourself also. Mm, so it'll be easier but I'll maybe use a razor blade so it'll be a bit easier to take this thing off okay now we have it I'm gonna inspect it if it's all great because if it's not then I can report the flaws on the screen so I think it's, it looks good then there is also this thing which I don't really understand the purpose of so I'm gonna leave it here and click on OK. And that's all for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time.